It's Pablo's Rap of the Week. On Saturday, Wickham celebrated 40 years in the Pilbara. AFL footballers Sam Newman and Dermot Brereton made the pilgrimage and the famous Craig Hutchie Hutchinson was there to MC. Well, it's not very often that you get to go to an event with Sam Newman, who is double the age of the town. So, you know, I was going to say, was he here at the beginning of Wickham? Well, he was here on the first fleet, of course, one of the first Australians <laughs> to land back in 1788. Sam Newman decided to respond and attack Hutchie's cricketing performance. Hutchie's uh, labouring under a bit of a disadvantage because he starts off when he gets a run, but he's got to slow down mid-pitch <laughs> in order for his momentum not to carry him across the boundary line and out into the car park. So he's playing pretty well. Uh, not the fittest man I've seen. No, I think he's had a big summer. Well, it is off-season. It is off-season and has been for a decade or more, I think, with Hutchie. <laughs> Hutchie, care to respond? I'm yeah. worried that his six or seven faceless could wither away and we might just see just a flip, flip, pile of flesh of skin around mid-off. Dermot Brereton came off the ground with eight runs, but it wasn't his best performance. Uh, we saw you out on the pitch before. Hutchie described it as one of the worst performances he's ever seen on the cricket pitch. Would you like to respond? Well, I scored more than Hutch. He scored seven, I scored eight. I scored mine in about four balls, one boundary. Hutchie scored seven in about eight overs. And I've never seen anyone in one day cricket graft like Hutchie did. <laughs> the Pilbara's favourite, Scotty Cummins, didn't make the pilgrimage. We went to Hutchie for the inside goss. He pulled a heart muscle during the week, Scotty. It now he's lost a bit of weight, he's become a metrosexual, he's all about his appearance and his looks and how his skin tone is and he, he goes to man want to fuss and has grooming sessions. It's really been one of the great succumbents of uh, modern era. Dermot Brereton was fairly critical on Sam Newman's cricketing performance. Sam lasted about four overs out on the ground, just fielding, but he never got out of a slow, stiff walk. <laughs> And I think he's gone inside for the air conditioning. And right about now, they're probably applying CPR to him. You know, he's yeah. It must be about nap time for the old man, isn't it? Yeah, he said he was going to go home for a nana nap. He's got vampiristic tendencies. You Does know? he? Yeah, he starts to melt a little bit during the heat of the day, oh. and uh, then as the evening he starts to quicken up in his step. He never gets out of a walk, but he <laughs> gets quicker in his step, and he looks for people's throats to bite into and things like that. So he's an unusual. Man. Well, this unfortunately Dermot, an impetuous man who's short on patience, a bit like the 1989 grand final, I think, when <laughs> Mark Yates ran through him and he, the great leviathan and the behemoth he is, he stayed on and cut a swathe through the cats and uh, just rode himself and everyone else to glory. But out there, no touch, no feel, no can't bat, can't bowl, as someone uh, famously said. Hachi may have been the MC for the day, but it didn't mean he went unscathed. You've never seen a bloke use up so much energy just walking. He's, I mean, some of us carry two or three kilos over. Some of us, you know, who are a bit too overweight, six or seven. Hutchie's about 38 kilos overweight, and he's doing it pretty tough. So, look, he's got 100, 110 metres to walk over. He's sweating like a pig uh, getting get, over there. You get the towel out to him. Yeah, uh, the get the towel out. I think we need to get out the, the, the screen, the fence, and the rock. Awful.